Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about four of my biggest money wasters. Let's get started and talk about it. I think this is an important topic, but please wait till the end because I've got a message for you. Okay, my first, probably one of my biggest money wasters, I've improved, but during this whole, I'll call it situation with my neck brace and other broken bones and things, uh, my biggest money waster right now would be some food waste. We haven't used everything up and there's things that we've forgotten about and because I can't bend down to look in the fridge, I don't always know. I am working on that though, but I would say right now currently it would be unfortunately some food waste. And you guys know when I come on here, I always like to be authentic with you and let you know what's really going on. Number two, stuff that I don't use and it could be anything, whether it's clothes I don't wear, books I don't read, kitchen equipment I don't use, shoes that I buy um, because my feet are big enough to stomp out fire and then I buy the wrong ones and they're not comfortable and I end up donating them and wasting money on that. So anything that I purchase that I don't end up using or using very often. I have improved on that, but my one bad purchase for 2022 were some shoes, but I did donate them. Okay, number three, I've improved on this, but I can still do this at time. Impulse buying. Things that I just see that I think I want, I've major improved on that, but that's where you buy things and you don't end up using it. It doesn't matter what it is. Many times a lot that could be clothes or decorations that you don't use. It could be anything or a book you just never get around to reading or a kitchen gadget, gadget or I keep saying or, 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 or maybe a, some spices or some fun food that you think you're going to get around to making and you use the spice once and you never go back and then it expires, things like that. So any kind of impulse buying and you end up thinking that you're going to use it and you're excited, maybe it's some new trending product. So I would say that's something I've definitely wasted money on. I'm looking at over the years, my four biggest ones. Right now, I'm going to say food waste is kind of the top one for me. And then four, I would say this has been a little bit for me, services I don't use. There for a while, because of what happened, we weren't really watching Netflix. And it's like, well, if we're paying this, we want to be sure we're using it. So if you have a service, whether it's, you know, a Netflix, whether it's a TV or entertainment service, whether it's a gym, it doesn't matter what the service is or products. Like I knew somebody that was getting, you know, makeup products sent to their house every month and they weren't using it because it was just overwhelming, you know, getting so much. It could be anything and you don't end up using it or you have to throw it away or and it ends up going bad or just... You know, it's just something that no one wants. You end up wasting that money. So I would say services I don't use. I've definitely wasted money on that. All of these areas. The good news is I've gotten better. And this is the message that I want to give you guys real quickly. You know, I know we can all look at improving. And what I think many of us do is we're our own worst critics. And we look at all the negative. Like, oh, I need to be better about, you know, not wasting food. Or I need to be better about not wasting money on this or that. Maybe all of that's true, but I want us all to change our mindset and, and say, let's not worry or agonize about, quote, buyer's remorse or have any regret. I think it's really good no matter what, whether it's how we spend our money, whether it's relationships, whether it's job, whether it's our health, we can't change yesterday. But we can learn from it and do little micro baby steps to improve and be better. And you know what? We can always start new. Every day is a new day. Every hour is a new hour. If you do something that you don't like and you're like, oh, God, I spent a lot of money. I really shouldn't have spent that much money, you know, going out to eat or on a gift or on clothes. And, you know, I really overspent. I could have gotten a better deal. You, you know what? It's over with. You can't go back and change some things, but you can learn from it. And then the next time it comes up, making a better decision. Bottom line, no regrets. Let's just keep moving forward and keep doing better each and every day. And that's all I have to say. Let me know what you think. What are some of your biggest money wasters? I want to hear from you in the comments below. I love you. I appreciate you. And I'll see you on tomorrow morning's video. Bye.